upon a time, in a quaint little village, there were three little piglets who were brothers. Their names were Pinky, Perky and Puffy. They lived happily with their mother in a cosy little cottage. One day, their mother gathered them around and said, My dear piglets, it's time for you to build your own houses and start a new adventure. Excited, the three little piglets set out on their journey. Each piglet decided to build a house of his own, but they had different ideas about how to go about it. Inky, the smallest of the piglets, was the first to start building. He was a quick and playful piglet, and he decided to build his house out of straw. He thought it would be the easiest and fastest way to have a comfortable home. Pinky sang and danced as he stacked the straw, creating a cosy little house in no time. Perky, the second piglet, wanted a sturdier home. He chose to build his house out of sticks. Perky worked diligently, carefully placing each stick to ensure his house was strong and secure. He believed that a strong house would protect him from any danger that might come his way. Puffy, the third and largest piglet, was a thoughtful and patient pig. He wanted a house that would stand the test of time, so he decided to build his house out of bricks. Puffy took his time, laying each brick with precision and care. He believed that a brick house would be the safest and most reliable choice. As the three little piglets finished building their houses, they admired their work and felt proud of their accomplishments. Little did they know, a cunning and hungry wolf named Wilbur had been watching them from the shadows. Wilbur had a reputation for being sly and tricky, and he couldn't resist the thought of it. One day, when the three little piglets were enjoying the sunshine in their respective houses, Wilbur approached Pinky's straw house. He knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me in. But Pinky was smart, and he replied, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Undeterred, Wilbur huffed and puffed, trying to blow the house down. To everyone's surprise, the straw house quickly collapsed. Pinky, however, was nimble and quick. He dashed over to Perky's house made of sticks, and they both locked the door tightly. Perky and Pinky peeked out from their sturdy stick house and said, not by the hair of our chinny chin. Wilbur huffed and puffed with all his might, but the stick house held strong. Frustrated and with a growling stomach, Wilbur retreated to gather his wits. Meanwhile, Puffy had been watching the commotion from his brick house. He knew he had to be cautious, so he invited his brothers inside. Come in quickly, my dear brothers, and let's stay safe together, Puffy said. As the three piglets huddled in the brick house, Wilbur approached and began his routine once more. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. But this time, the piglets were confident. They stood firm and declared, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Wilbur huffed and puffed with all his might, but the brick house remained unshaken. Frustrated and defeated, the wolf slinked away into the woods, hungry and humbled. The three little piglets learned an important lesson that day, the value of hard work, patience, and making wise choices. From then on, they lived happily in their brick house, always remembering the day they outsmarted the cunning wolf, Will. And so, in the little village, the tale of Pinky Perky and Puffy became a favourite bedtime story for all the children, a story of cleverness, resilience, and the strength that comes from working together and they all lived happily ever after.